What's up guys? So the reason that I wore this shirt today is because I read this fucking title and we're gonna get into some controversial shit. Haven't seen it. We're gonna watch Andrew Schultz's Sean King is canceling Jesus Christ. I don't know what the fuck he's gonna say. Hopefully it's more funny than controversial, but I, if you know anything about Schultz, this motherfucker just, he doesn't give a fuck what you think. So that's why I wore this shirt to fuck your feelings and let's check out what he's got to say. Hopefully he's a little bit enlightening how he is with everything else and makes us see it from a different perspective. But let's fucking check it out, all right? Let's put these headphones on. Jesus. We can buy some Bluetooth ones. All right, hopefully it doesn't mess up my do. My, my virus do. Jesus Christ, watch out, cause Sean King is coming. This week, transracial civil rights activist Sean King, or as some of you know, Talcum X, tried to cancel the most hateful, violent, evil, racist of them all. Jesus? Yeah, Shamrock Obama tried to take down the King of Kings, the white one specifically. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, it's 2,000 years later, what's commonly referred to as CPT. Pale Sharpton tweeted, the statues of the white European Jesus should come down. They are a Jesus fucking Christ. He's He's going way too fast for me right now. All right. I don't even know who this guy is. So I'm going to have to do a little deep dive on this other guy later. But hopefully he goes into it. But shit, you're just going in, Schultz. Fuck. Form of white supremacy and always have been. First of all, for someone who crucifies white people for a living, I assume he'd appreciate the imagery. Secondly, he kind of has a point. Certain groups have used Christianity to oppress people, slave traders, yep. the KKK, jewelers. But <laughs> what the fuck? always a form of white supremacy. Martin Luther Cream, what the fuck are you talking about? Sean says in the Bible, when Jesus wanted to hide, he went to Egypt, not Denmark. That is true, probably because Denmark didn't exist. But I think the brilliant revelation Thurgood Marshmallow was trying to make is that Jesus wasn't white. Yeah. Hey, Sean, no shit. He was from Nazareth, a.k.a. Palestine, a.k.a. future Middle Israel. East. He looked more like Osama yep. bin Laden than Jared Leto. You know why Jesus had to walk on water? Because the TSA wouldn't let him through. Oh. He's an accurate mock yep. of Jesus. He looks like quarantine <laughs> DJ Khaled. Oh, the shit. Guy, but I know for certain he has white sauce hot sauce. So, <laughs> Sean is technically white. I mean, right. Europeans did transform the image yep. of Jesus long to make him look like eyes. he owns a gay cupcake shop. Obviously, he wasn't some bearded, long-haired white guy. Oh, well, oh, 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 what those girls yeah. said. But did they make Jesus white to oppress minorities? No, they did it to convert white people. Yeah. Turns out, you can get way more followers if the people you represent think you're one of them. You know what I mean, Sean? Now, I know what some of you are thinking. If that's the case, other cultures would have done it too. And you know what? They did. All of them. Jesus gets contextualized by every culture he goes to. Check this out. Here's Asian Jesus looking sad because he'll never live up to his parents' expectations. <laughs> Here's Ethiopian Jesus taking fashion trips from Nancy Pelosi. Shit. Here's Indian Jesus who's just regular Jesus with four eyes. <laughs> How the fuck did they crucify him? Here's Indian Jesus, yeah. RuPaul. And Ru knows exactly where he got the drag race from. Look. Jesus oh, reflects whatever culture fuck. he's in. So caucus Garvey, I don't understand why you're coming at white Jesus specifically. If anything... Why Jesus should be coming to you? You stole his whole business model. Present yourself as a different race to attract more followers. Collect donations with shady accounting and tell everyone that the white guy that raised you isn't your real dad? At least white Jesus had the decency to cover for his mom. Oh, shit! I 100% agree that people have used Jesus to do fucked up shit, but to claim that every white Jesus is white supremacy is just dumb. Real white supremacy hmm. is occupying land that isn't yours, segregating it, naming it Chaz. Also, Chaz? That doesn't sound like a socialist utopia. It sounds like a lacrosse player you wouldn't leave around your system. Oh, the first of <laughs> white fuck. Jesus are almost 1,800 years old. No, I said almost 1,800 fuck. years old. Don't. Okay, Chris. Long Don't. before modern race relations even existed. It was so long ago, white people were still enslaving white people. Imagine how shitty that story was. <laughs> I agree, a church in Africa doesn't need some Coachella mushroom dealer Jesus. So how about instead of canceling white Jesus... We make more black Jesus. Instead of destroying the stained glass, we just add more stain. Now look, I'm not gonna discredit Sean King completely. He does more for social justice than me, and he actually brings attention to some really important issues, but this one, he's doing too much. First of all, who is Snow J. Simpson even talking to? People that don't want to remove Confederate statues are not even gonna think about removing white Jesus. It actually works against Black Lives Matter because now the detractors can honestly say, first they'll tear down the Confederates and then they'll tear down Jesus. Secondly, 
It's confusing. You're comparing images of racist, treasonous people with the epitome of hope, compassion, and love. That's true. In this case, it That's seems true. like W.E.B. DeBlonde wants attention more than he wants change. Listen, Rose Parks, you've dedicated <laughs> your life to fighting for people's <laughs> constitutional rights. Freedom of religion is one of those rights. Yeah. So you should encourage people to worship any version of Jesus they want, even Jewish Jesus. That's just Jesus. Mm. <sighs> you know what this week has been? A massive overcorrection from Chaz Dork's cancel in America to Justin Bieber being falsely accused of sexual assault. The internet mob is swift, brutal, and doesn't give a fuck about the truth if the lie is more interesting. True. And you know what? That's what we get. That's fucking we true. solely communicate fuck. through platforms that are built for information, not investigation. I don't see too many memes yeah. about context or nuance out there. And how can you even get nuance in 280 characters? How can we expect real conversation and dialogue on an Instagram post? These platforms are great for a lot of things, but they've created a major issue. The speed yeah. of allegation is so much faster than the speed of investigation. And don't get me wrong, life, we man. should listen to allegations when they come up, but we must also listen to the rebuttal with the same intensity. Yeah. I mean, we're at a place where people are guilty until like proven innocent. Man. And even if they're vindicated, the apology yeah, is always much listens. quieter than the accusation. So if you keep canceling people, be careful. Because as soon as you step out of line, they're coming for your yeah. ass, and there will be no forgiveness. Lucky for you, Sean, you know who does forgive? White Jesus. Jesus. Thanks, guys. Pete. Ah, look at the bottom right. Look at that lady. Karen. <laughs> oh, shit. Hmm. I don't know who Sean King is. I understand maybe what he's trying to do, because Jesus obviously didn't have long hair, blue eyes. If you still think that. Yeah, sorry to say it, mm -mm. but this come from a guy. I don't know what I believe. I believe in a higher being. Do I believe there was a guy named probably Jesus? Yeah, there was probably a guy named Jesus. Yeah, I don't. I have my own beliefs on that. But what he's talking about right now, Schultz is let people believe in whatever Jesus that they want to believe is. But that's kind of the same as. People trying to change Santa Claus into a different ethnicity, different color, different race. So I don't see a problem with that. I mean, he's got a point. As long as they're believing in somebody that's going to hopefully try to make, convince, like, try to make them be a better person, try to better morals, better values, fuck it. Who cares what race, what color they are? It doesn't fucking matter. As long as they're believing in the same thing, right? Like, who even really fucking knows? As long as it leads to the same person. Like, even for me, like, the way I see it, it doesn't matter what religion you believe in. I honestly don't care if you're Muslim, Buddhist, if you believe in Confucianism. As long as it leads to the same, to the same path of morals, values, and just being an all-around good person. I mean, I think that's what Schultz is trying to convey here. Like, instead of attacking the color of it just let's let everybody believe in whatever they believe in even if it is a different race than you're used to maybe even if it's instead of blonde hair blue eyes fucking black hair tan darker skin fuck it you're still believing in them like fuck what does it fucking matter what color he is what race he is fuck it man as long as it makes you a fucking better person, it shouldn't fucking matter. Like, fuck, I remember there were, what was their fucking names in News Anchor? Jesus is white. I mean, not Jesus. Fucking Santa Claus is white. Okay, guys. I forgot what, fucking, what anchor is it? She's used to work for Fox News. Like, how do you know? It's a fictional fucking character. You fucking, it could be any fucking race, color, it doesn't matter. It, it's, I, it doesn't matter, man. I don't know. If, you, if you're a religious person, I don't mean to offend you. I'm just saying, don't attack other people's views on their religion because it does nothing for you. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect anybody. As long as they're living a, a life where they're good to other people, where they have values that you know show people to care for others and that their morals, should, like, of family, unity. Man, that's all that fucking matters in this world, just be a good fucking person. Even if you're not religious, even if you're a fucking atheist, if, you, if you're if you an all around good person, why the fuck are we gonna judge you for 
us believing in something and you don't, who fucking cares? As long as you're good as a good person, fucking man. I think that's what he's trying to get to. I don't know who the Sean King guy is, but man, he was fucking putting him on everybody. He rolls the parks and everything. Fuck it, man. But I think Schultz did a good job in explaining on why races, different races, different ethnicities, make their their religious entities into them. Because, who? I mean, he's kind of right. We do listen to people, more people that are kind of, are who are like us like i know the guys i looked up to were hispanic males and like that's because that's who i was surrounded by like i looked up to these guys and everything i mean you're gonna want to look up to the people that are around you because if you, you see yourself in them so i think that's what he's trying to get to hopefully you guys enjoyed it i don't know what the fuck i'm saying i'm just a guy in front of a fucking camera who fucking cares what i say but this is just my opinion hopefully you enjoyed it check it um Fuck, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Babe, hopefully you're having a wonderful day, guys. All right? Hope, if you liked it, click like and subscribe. Um, comment down below. Check it out.